Hey, hey, friends. My name is Gina, if you do not know, and I am the creative here on YouTube as well as Instagram. And today I am super excited to be bringing you the brand new collection from Open Journey called Come With Me 2. This leans towards Lint and there's lots of other goodies and I am so excited to share them. So let's get started. First and foremost, I have to point out how beautifully packaged these kits come. They come in a little uh, linen bag, which I'll show you here in a second. And then she wraps the entire kit in ribbon. And in this case, there's some twine in there. And that gives you a hint of the color scheme that's going to be in the kit. And it's so perfect to give as a gift as is. So if you know someone who wants to walk through Lent or maybe is a first timer with Lent, this is a fantastic gift to give. It comes prepackaged and it's absolutely stunning. As I'm taking apart the kit here and I'm going to show you the devotional, I will go through every single part of the kit, but I wanted to read Ingrid's description of her kit. She says, come with me too. A kit for creative Bible study and journaling, a wonderful Lenten companion designed to encourage us on our faith journey, bring us to a quiet place where we can spend time in the word, meditate on Jesus's passion and strengthen our relationship with our Lord. A continuation of previous year's kit with the same title, although with all new content in both art and devotional. The kit also has a list with daily scripture readings for the entire Lent besides the devotional scripture references from the main devotional. The daily scripture readings are on a separate list. Each reading has a chosen title with keywords which are also printed on white sticker so you can use these headers in your daily journaling. The kit contains a variety of journaling elements, art on cardstock, white and clear sticker paper, 18 washi strips, journaling tickets, die cuts, and stamps. And one of my favorite things that Ingrid does is she also does a digital version of this kit. And so she says, in case more art is needed, there is the digital version of this kit, which you can print as much as you need for your own personal use. The digital version is half off with the purchase of the physical kit for your convenience and has additional backgrounds and art. And also, if you're seeing this and maybe you can't afford the physical kit, the digital kit is a great way to go because it has the entire devotional. She puts in backgrounds and more artwork. And in this digital kit, there's 41 pages. So you can pick it up for half off with the physical or you can go the digital route. Okay, so let's get to some of the goodies inside. This is the Lent Daily Bible Readings. This will start on March 2nd, which is Ash Wednesday. And we'll go all 40 days through April 17th, which is Easter Sunday. And usually with the daily Bible readings, as I'm looking at it, she likes to include more than one Bible verse on most of them. So you could use this along with your Lent kit, or you could do this individually as a scripture writing plan. Okay, this is the awesome stamp set that's designed for the kit. It is four by six and it has six stamps on it. Some of the things that it says is Lent, come with me, remain in me. It has Mark 115 on it and it's got that mixed media postage stamp outline type of look. Here is the beautiful illustrated folder that you can use either way and it's stunning. Okay, and in this little uh, folder that she gives us, she just absolutely jam packs it full of goodness. So I'm going to kindly briefly read this to you. It has three clear sticker pages with coordinated artwork. Um, the sizes are 8x4 and 2x8. There are 12 white sticker pages. There are 18 illustrated journaling premium cardstock pages. Then she also includes 18 washi strips. There's a note from the artist. Again, the illustrated folder. There's the daily scripture reading folder. And you just can't go wrong with this portion of it. Like this is made, you can use this in so many different ways. If you are a mixed media artist and you like to rip the pages and mod podge them down and paint over them, this is premium cardstock, so you can do that. Um, if you're like me who just likes to layer a lot of stuff and make it look like it's mixed media, then there's stickers, there's cardstock, there's journaling elements, and then you can rip the pages or the little pieces. So I absolutely love this. And again, this is all Ingrid's artwork. So she's done like the mixed media hard part for us where it looks like it's already layered. And then we can just come in and 
do the creative fun stuff side of this after we've studied. And these particular pages, they remind me of like the Tim Holtz words. So she's got those typed up on like a graph paper and just gorgeous, gorgeous elements inside um, this folder. And it just never ends. The, the clear sticker paper is laser printed, so it can be used with any type of mixed media. And I'm loving like the purple flowers in this. So kudos, Ingrid. I love it so much. I just love it. I can't wait to get into it. Every detail that's in this kit too is something from Ingrid's research. So those florals have a meaning and you need to follow her on Instagram because she goes over there and shares a lot through IGTV. She also does a good job at sharing like the behind the scenes and some of her painting process, which is incredible. She does process videos. So definitely go follow her. She's at Open Journey. I will link her below. And then she always is fantastic about sharing what people do with her kits and her work. So you want to use the hashtag Open Journey or tag Open Journey. That way she can see your stuff. And I think that's a really cool thing because we all create create differently and Ingrid's done such a beautiful and incredible job of giving us a base with this especially for someone like me who is not a true mixed media artist like I feel like I can do some mixed media but I can't do this there's so many layers on these pieces so um remember that I will link it below and this is these are the die cuts that came in that little glassine bag over there on the right. I cut that open with an X-Acto knife because she stamped it. It's got a sticker on it, so I'm saving it. And then again, she pays attention to every detail. So these little florals, they have meaning. And by the time I'm done reading this devotional, I will know. And then um, she always adds in some black and white. And that's my favorite color combination. Okay, phooey, that's a lot of information. This, these are kits that are so jam-packed. And again, Ingrid pays attention to so much detail. I'm going to try to link some of the gals that are on the team below because we all have a different perspective on how we do this kit or kits. And I think it's really neat to share. So now we're going to jump into the next new product. Okay, so one thing that Ingrid is popular for is her... Bible verse cards. She releases collections of them and this one's no different. This is the Come With Me collection of 40 illustrated Bible verse cards with theme and illustrations inspired from the kit for creative Bible studying and journaling. And as you can see, I've bought these as gifts. She wraps them up so nicely, like so cute. So you could just buy it directly from her and hand it to somebody or you could gift it in a bag or something. So Again, there's 40 of these. These cards measure three by five. A lot of them have verses from the devotional and they're going to have verses from the scripture study that goes along with it. You're going to see some of the same artwork, but then you're also going to see other beautiful artwork that she's used from previous kits that she ties in. And that's another incredibly beautiful thing about Ingrid is her stuff all connects in some way, shape or form. So when I'm done using this kit, I can easily go in and put this with other stuff and I'm going to find something that goes with it and that's part of like her popularity I would say is that her stuff all can be mixed and matched no matter what kit it is no matter what time of year it is it's all beautiful and it's just so detail oriented um I, I can't say enough nice things about it so once again, this is a collection of 40 cards. These can be used with the kit or on their own. They are great for meditating, giving, wrapping, journaling, collaging. And now we're going to jump into the first new stamp. Okay, I should say this is the second new stamp because she has a brand new one in her journaling or the devotional. So this one is called the Faith Floral Journaling Stamp Set. There are six stamps on that and the Bible verse focus is Mark 6, 31. Okay, and this is the third brand new stamp. This can be bought a la carte or individually. This is the Faith Journaling Stamp, and this has four stamps on it. It has a circular blank postal stamp ring and a sketch postal stamp outline and some other little elements on there that match perfectly with the other stamp or the kit or standalone. 
Next up is one of my favorite products that Ingrid makes. They are journal charms and you don't see them too often because I literally hoard them. They're so beautiful. This is the Come With Me charm. It is a little die cut acrylic charm inspired from the Come With Me kit. Can be used as an add-on to the kit or a lovely journal charm. Bookmark are added to your keychain. So many creative uses. The words read, Come With Me, Mark 631. Next up, and I don't think a lot of people know this, but Ingrid sells fine art prints. And that's another reason to go look at her uh, Instagram because she will share the behind the scenes of her paintings and they will blow your mind. So here's two of her new fine art prints and let me share the details on these. So this first one is aptly titled, Come With Me. So the one I'm holding is a five by seven. This is artwork that depicts Jesus in a boat on the Sea of Galilee. And this is an original acrylic painting done on wood that she has put into um, these little cards. And you can get these up to a 16 by 20. They're gorgeous. This incredible painting is called Water and Blood. It is also an acrylic done on wood. I'm holding the 5 by 7 prayer card version, and this one focuses on Mercy from Zechariah 12, 10, and 13, 1. You can pick these up in 2 by 4 prayer card sets. You can pick them up in 5 by 7 prayer cards with text on the back, or you can pick them up as a prayer card bundle. Last but certainly not least is another new item. This is called the Come With Me Add-On Journaling Cards, Tickets, Washi, and Stickers. This is like a little add-on mini kit and it's loaded. It's only $10 and to be, uh, to give you exact details, it contains six journaling watercolor tickets slash cards, seven journaling tickets with prompts, 10 mixed media washi strips stickers, 20 1.75 inch round stickers all art from the kit and some of these tickets or I should say these tickets are some of my favorite things that she has done she's done these tickets with a former kit called fruit of the spirit and these are all on really nice uh cardstock and again, it's just little journaling bits that you could put on top of something that you're using. And depending on whether you're using the sticker or the cardstock, you can use these just as notes in your Bible. You can use these as references. So lots of times I study in my Bible and then I will put something on that page to reference where I've done like my journaling, my creative Bible study, um, my art journaling, etc. That way when my Bible's passed down, that information is available. And here's the little stickers. Um, these are made to be punched out if you want or to use however you want. So my friends, that is the brand new kit for Open Journey called Come With Me Too, along with all the little bonus additional items that she has in the shop. Make sure, again, to be following Ingrid over on Instagram. She is at Open Journey. I'm also going to put a few of my friends down below who create with Open Journey uh, products they are Michelle and Kimberly and Terry, and they all have really unique takes on what they do. Um, make sure you use the hashtag open journey, and there's a good chance there'll be a hashtag OJ underscore come with me too, and that way we can find you. And again, Ingrid loves to share. So thank you all for being here. I hope that each and every single one of you are having a wonderful day. Um, know that I am praying for you and I just love you all so much. God bless you. Thank you.